with the playing of the national anthem performed by our own Beaverton High School Band. and for joining us here tonight. Susan Greenberg. Susan is a member of the Beaverton School Board and a fervent advocate of educational excellence and student success. And due to the boundary changes, this is Susan's last commencement exercises with us. And we're very sad uh, to not have her with us uh, in the future. Also on the stage are student speakers Lizzie Elkins, and faculty and faculty speaker Mark Guerin. Graduates, just about a year ago, you and I found ourselves alone in the gym after the senior assembly. I asked, for, I asked you for a couple promises. Take pride in your school, do everything to your best, and to give us excellent senior leadership. You did not let us down, and for that I am exceptionally grateful. Thank you for a wonderful year. You are an exceptional class. Many are sad to see you go. And it is wonderful and right to be here tonight to celebrate you. At this time, it's my pleasure to introduce senior Trey Lusk, who will welcome you all on behalf, on behalf of the class. Trey? First things first, Emily Inman, Lizzie Oakerman, Abby Birdsend. Fellow students, families, and esteemed faculty, welcome to the commencement exercises of the 101st class of Beaverton High School. Welcome to the graduating class of 2017. As I look out at you, I feel nostalgic for our future, and I look forward to our past. Greatness is ahead of us, starting with your student speaker. She is a homecoming princess, a journalist, a scholar, a cultural icon, a Mormon, and most importantly, a good friend. Please welcome a Miss Liz Lizzie Elkins. All right. Okay. Faculty, staff, mom and dad, esteemed guests, and my fellow members of the class of 2017. Good evening. For those of you who don't know me or didn't just hear Trey introduce you, my name is Lizzie Elkins. Um, and I'd like to thank you in advance for listening to what I'm about to say. Some of us thought this day 
would never come. And others thought that it couldn't come quick enough. Graduation. The word fills me with pride, hope for the future, and a lot of nostalgia. When we were freshmen in 2013, I couldn't count the amount of times seniors told me that my time in high school would be over in the blink of an eye. They said that the years we spend at Beaverton go by fast, and you'll wake up one day and realize that you're a senior. And then you'll wake up one day and realize you're graduating. I didn't believe them. How could the time go by so fast? When we walked into VHS four short years ago, we had no idea what we were in for. We didn't know that Lydia gets quicker every year. We didn't know that Quizlet saved lives. We hadn't seen Rankin Shum eat things off the floor for three dollars. And we had yet to discover the crutch that caffeine would offer in the following years. We didn't know that there's a distinct correlation between the upward trend of AP test scores and student nihilism. And we sure didn't know how to craft a masterpiece essay worthy of a four, not an A, in less than three hours. But what we didn't know didn't matter when we were freshmen and we went our merry ways to classes and lunch, carelessly living out the year. As soon as we knew it, senior year had rolled around and we faced the months that followed with a sort of blissful ignorance, unaware of what was to happen in the preceding days. At the beginning of senior year, we didn't know that senioritis could be fatal, or it feels like it at times. We didn't understand the frantic rush to finish senior projects the day that they're due, and everyone could be sure that we didn't know how itchy these gowns were or how weird that these hats make us look. <laughs> My fellow classmates, I truly believe that nothing brings people closer together than challenges. Shared challenges in any and all forms tend to allow us to empathize with one another, and as a result, challenge allows us to become stronger as individuals and as a community. Our shared struggles throughout the past four years were diverse, at times cringeworthy, and all character building. To name a few instances of shared tenacious adversity, simply recall the outfits we rocked to homecoming our freshman year, the berations we endured at, as underclassmen at the back of the bleachers, Wiley words, trying to decipher literally every play Shakespeare ever wrote, the L's taken, the countless college and job applications, I could go on. In short, our shared hardships at VHS and puberty-associated coming-of-age stories brought us all together, even though they happened individually. And they shaped us into a group of kind of awesome people. Seniors, this is the best class that I could have asked for. I'm not going to say that we're the best class that Beaverton has seen, but I'm not going to say that we're not. Um, what I mean to say is that if I could choose to be part of any graduating class, I would choose you. You're an excellent group of people, and I'm proud to be here with you tonight. I'm refraining myself from quoting Toy Story, our prom theme, or Michelle Obama, a worthy role model. So instead, let me inspire you with a quote from Steve Jobs, because who doesn't want to be as warm-hearted as him? Jobs once said, to infinity and beyond. Oh, wrong quote. Um, Steve Jobs once said, the people who are crazy enough to change the world are the ones that actually do. Class of 2017, I know you're crazy. Hopefully crazy enough to change the world. Because you've been crazy enough to change the lives of everyone you see and interact with on a daily. You've impacted VHS and our surrounding community immeasurably through programs like Make-A-Wish, Link, National Honor Society, Becca's Closet. The list is long and inexhaustible. My fellow classmates, you've made your mark on the halls of VHS. And for my last quote, I'm going to quote myself, and I know every single one of you, at some moment, probably one of desperation or weakness, You've said this when you scribbled the words at the end of an essay. In conclusion, guys, we haven't worked our butts off for the past four years for nothing. Class of 2017, let's go continue to change the world. Thank you. Welcoming the VHS Choir who will offer us 100 years.
Virginia Stoner. Each year, the seniors select a member of the faculty to offer some words of wisdom. Tonight's faculty speaker is a veteran science teacher, wise counselor to students, and a respected member of our faculty. Please join me in welcoming our faculty speaker, Mr. Mark Guerin. Class of 2017, congratulations family and loved ones, friends. You've all worked really hard to get these guys here. Um, I think it's customary at this point for me to thank you for honoring me with this opportunity, but I think it might just be the first time you guys have actually got organized enough to play a really good practical joke on somebody who you knew would be terribly overwhelmed to stand up here and do this. So, um, good job. Um, but I think that joke may be on you guys. Um, you know me. I'm the teacher that can get a little carried away, talk a little too much, go on a rant, forget the bell's about to ring. Ms. Irwin said, I don't have any kind of time limit, so get comfortable. <laughs> Just kidding. I don't want to stress you out. Um, a little over 30 years ago, I was at the beginning of a transition, kind of like this one for you, except I was a junior, and I was about to head out to be an exchange student overseas. Um, and I was having some serious second thoughts. I didn't want to leave my friends behind. I was spending a lot of money on it. I thought maybe I was being a little bit crazy to just step out into the big world and, and do it on my own. Um, and I told my grandfather that, and he said, no, you're not crazy. You have to do this. Um, the joy that you're going to get from the stories you'll come back with, that's going to be worth any, more than anything you spend on this trip. So you have to go. Um, I took his advice, he was a wise man, and sure enough, that was the, that was the first of many trips, and, and some of you have sat through my stories, you know I've been around, traveled to lots of places, done lots of things, and I, I still go back to that, that bit of advice. Um, six or seven continents isn't bad, living with penguins, studying mice, you know all the stories, I'm not going to go into them here. A few years ago, I found myself in a situation similar to that one. Um, I was a few weeks from departing again on another trip. This time, it was my nine-year-old daughter who came to me and said, I don't want to go. This is after about two years of planning and paperwork and interviews and, and, and trying to put this trip together to go teach um, for, for six months in India. And so my daughter telling me she's not going to go kind of put a kink in those plans. Uh, she said she was going to miss her friends and the cat. Um, she explained her fears and her concerns, and I tried to talk her into just going because there was really no way to get out of it. Um, nothing worked. She just kept saying, yeah, I'm not going to go. And my grandpa's voice came back to me a little bit. We took a walk, and I told her, you know the stories I tell you, the penguins, the monkeys, all of those things. You love those, right? And she said, yeah. And I said, well, this is your chance to go out there and get your own stories. And she thought about that for a second and looked up to me and said, OK, I'll go. <laughs> the mind of a nine-year-old. About a month into our time in India, we got word from some of the boys at the school that I taught at that there were monkeys on campus. And I had kind of promised my kids we'd see monkeys. So we set off to the part of campus they had directed us to, sort of a scary back wall where there were other things you needed to be worried about, like snakes in the tall grass and whatnot. And we followed the direction. And sure enough, as we approached the area, we saw some monkeys and, and started to get closer. And as we got closer, we realized, wow, look at that. There's, there's a couple of babies, and they're sitting up on that wall. Let's go check it out. And so we did. Um, and as we got closer, they got cuter. And we were excited. And we had the camera out, and we're taking pictures. And out of nowhere comes a really big male monkey. And he wasn't happy that we were as close as we were to the babies. And 
He came at us quickly. We turned and we ran. I think my children were crying immediately. I was worried that what I was going to tell my, my wife about losing a child to a monkey. Um, but I think the monkey was really just about getting us away from, from his children. We made it, and after the kids stopped crying, I caught my breath, realized I still had both of them with me. We were on our way back to the house. I looked down at my daughter and I said, how's that for your first story? <laughs> Many of you have been in my classes and have commented that my real life experiences, my stories inspire you, and I'm glad for that. That's why I tell them you've talked me into telling more of them than I probably should. Um, but what I really want you all to take away from the stories that I tell in class is a desire to go get your own. And you're finally at that point in your life that you're ready to do that. Do it fearlessly. If it excites you to think about something, if you can imagine that crazy journey, that crazy experience that might be out there waiting for you, go do it. Thank you, Mr. Garrett. Class of 2017, among the many attributes that you possess are a boundless spirit and an incredible joy for life. This energy was contagious and uplifting most of the time. Sometimes your joy for life clouded your ability to meet deadlines or complete projects. But other times, that joy wrapped up children who had wishes or burst out of you in song, dance, or musical productions. Over the last four years, there were Friday nights on football fields or basketball courts where the tide of your enthusiasm and spirit just rose up and washed over everything. You see, generally after a football game, students come down to the sideline, seniors in the front row, of course, and I hold them from rushing onto the field until I give a signal. There's some friendly banter back and forth. We, will, we wait for Coach Boyer to finish his post-game talk. There's some more banter, more waiting. The banter's getting a little old now. Seriously, Bob. Finally, my cue to release the power of the wave, and they're off. Then there were the nights, especially at basketball games, or that one evening at Southridge's home field, when tradition and careful staging of administrators just wasn't enough. 20. 19, 18, 17. We have to keep them from rushing, I would proclaim. This was usually met with a determined nod from Mr. Robinson. Got it, Anne, from Mrs. Dubuque. And that one raised eyebrow from Miss Barron that says, we'll see. 15, 14, 13, and we are in our positions. Five, four, three, two, one, and the crowd rushes over us. You know, as you move into your future, you're gonna discover that this happens more often than you might like. Sometimes, despite your best efforts, your finest planning, or even your best intent, the wave rushes over you. It happened to us this year. We faced the challenge of getting 2,000 people off campus in the midst of a raging snowstorm. Probably should have seen that one coming. We taught one day, an entire day without power. We figured that out. It happened to many of you these past four years. You were hit with disappointing grades. The reality that, yes, you do have to complete the senior project, or a bump in the road to your future. You must have figured those out. You're here. What I know to be true is that in the end, you just have to let the wave pass. Find out where you are, shake the water and sand out of your ears, and move forward. Or on a Friday night, go to the center of the field and sing the fight song with the crowd that just washed over you. When you move on, I hope you'll have others to join you on your path. There's an often quoted African pro proverb that if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. We celebrate your accomplishment tonight together. But you know you didn't get here alone. In the stands tonight are the family and friends who cheered you on your journey so far. They were your first teachers. I trust you will find a way to say thank you to them in heartfelt words and genuine actions. On either side of you tonight are the faculty and staff who supported, coached, encouraged, and pleaded you to your accomplishment tonight. Would the members of the faculty and staff at BHS please rise? Class of 2017, thank you. Join me in thanking them one more time for what they've done for you. also 
also possesses a collective spirit. The pictures you take and post are a proof of this. You're captured in groups, gaggles and crowds, people together, arms around each other. As you head off into your future, you'll have the ch chance to forge new friendships, relationships, and connections. I have great faith in your ability to do just that. Today, our culture seems to allow people to become isolated or feel alone. My wish is that you will be part of a way that washes over people and includes them. In time when there are pervasive divisions and deep conflicts between groups of people, you have to continue to be individuals who offer respect to each person you meet and value the self-worth of everyone. Everyone. At VHS, you experience what it's like to be part of a strong community. And I encourage you to look for community where you can. If you don't find it, it's your responsibility to create it. That's what we taught you, that's what you learned, and that's your obligation to your future and to our shared future. Class of 2017, thank you for all you gave us in the time that you were at VHS. I said it in the Senior Assembly and again tonight. We are better. Beaverton High School is better because you came our way. Now go out, take that same energy with you, and be part of the ripples and waves that make change. Thank you for all you did for our community. Congratulations and good luck. Superintendent Brodding, Director Greenberg, I can fully attest to you that the members of the class of 2017 assembled before you have completed all of the requirements for graduation from Beaverton High School and are ready to receive their diplomas. Julian Jesus Alvarez Flores. 
Jacob Elliot Anderson. Alana Michelle Arneson. Jennifer Arabelle Artiega. Mustafa Omar Asad. Rihanna Alexis Ayu. Chandler Griffin Badeau. Benjamin Joseph Baines Nichols. Joshua Walter Bamberger. Maria De Los Angeles Barrios Gorgonia. Jeremiah Batten. Hannah Marie Bowman. Catherine Dale Bowman. Taylor Joshua Vienna Bautista. Angelica Bautista Coviete. Brenda Bautista Lopez. Addison Newton Beer. Thomas James Becker. Jairo Isai Benavides. Jonathan Mahane Bernal Flores. Joshua K. Finker. Matthew Christopher Birch. Eli McClellan Bishop. Hunter Andrew Bishop. Ezekiel John Blackwell. Christopher Robert Blanchard. Aiden Paige Bosworth. Nicholas Michael Pizarro. Celia Keilani Boyer. Tamara Bozeric. Evan Matthew Brady. Tyler Jacob Briggs. Melvin Abraham Briones de Leon. Mary Miley Brocker. Emilia Joanne Brossman. Joshua Dennis Brown. Oliver Michael Brown. Paris Tatsuya Buffalo Chief. Jacob Thomas Bunn. Henry Douglas Lee Butler. Spencer Montgomery Bynum. Nolan William Bird. Ruben Adrian Javiero Trunecke. Catherine Mariana Cabanilla Mori. Deja Olivia Cantrell. Chelsea Corden, Joe Cortez, Colin Gibson Crandall, Carson Christopher Crawford, Juan Manuel Santos Avera, Miley Christian Kraus, Vanessa Cruz Herrera. Asia Corin Coavas Tolentino. Andre Robert Curtis. Nicole Kaula Cushman. Kevin Chris Dalamach. Axel Danielli. Carl Danielson. Jake Douglas Davidson. Walter Vasali. <laughs> Melissa Nicole Del Castillo. Cassandra Dewing. Mason Kyle Dougal. <laughs> Jacob Wayne Bow. J. 
Patrick and Pistol. Kendrick, John Ray, Urban. Kiwa, Fata. Colton, Alexander, Fink. Cordell, Jackson, Fink. Ryan, Flores, Payas. Stefan, Bruno, Frankie. Isabella, A. Fry. Arlene, Cassandra, Galeana, Yogi. Sarai Garcia. Frankie Martinez Garcia. Christopher Lee Gatling. Bailey Catherine Ghetto. Dylan Ray Gibson. Matthew Penny Gilroy. Kayla Aaron Golson. William Alexander Gomez Tomas. Alexis Gonzalez. Meletta Bustos Gonzalez. Paige Lorraine Mooch Murphy. Thomas Skyler Gramer. Christina Irene Griffin. Alyssa Nicole Grimes. Cruz Antonio Grover. Claire Ann Clausen Goldsvig. Lila Haidari. Allie Cassandra Hall. Jaden Robert Hall. Shayla Hadal Kanamura. Rowan Andrew Hanstein Azora. <laughs> Katrina Lee Hardy. Eduardo Herrera Lopez. Paola Alejandra Hidalgo Cruz. Brianna Elizabeth Hilton. Elena Bennett Peak. Jacob Matthew Hoffman. Daniel Hockenin. Madison Greer Holgerson. Joe Hollowell. Logan Douglas Holt. Gordon Richard House. Gordon Marie Hudson. Kenny Wynn. Emily Rachel Inman. Milan Ivkovich. Rachel Marie Parada. Carson Dalton Jarvis. Cole Richard Johansson. Nathan Thomas Johnny. Dustin Cole Johnson. Joe Johnson. Kira Rose Johnson. Valerie Lynn Johnson. Sydney S. Jones. Elias Burt Jordan. Hunter Antonelli. Michael Joseph Kahn. Shannon Elizabeth Hukufaha Key. Nikolai Kennedy. Lisa Lenny Kov. Babak Kiai. Jayden Kim. Tatum Irene Klopacki. Jessica Lynn Klockman. Victoria Ashley Koenig. Casey Juliana Preck. Tyler Theodore Stara. Raiden Andras Klopacki. 
Thank you. 